Hey everybody, final thoughts for Turing Machine. I had no idea I was going to like this game this much. Um, I'm not really the biggest deduction or social deduction fan, but Turing Machine does it in a way that's very accessible and just, you know, for those of us who aren't, that our brains don't work this way, I think this is a perfect introduction to the genre. And I think um, it's a game that plays so quickly and so smoothly that I think it'll be um, played by people like me that aren't really into this type of game. I mean, Look at this. I, I just think it's such a cool concept, right? I think this whole punch card thing, it just works really well. And it's almost like magic when you're, you know, as you put together the numbers here, you know, you saw how, you know, your your eyes, the light bulb goes off. Hey, I think that's the code. And, you know, you have the notepad, which I always appreciate. I need notes, uh, for notepads for these type of games. Uh, but I really like the simplicity of it. I mean, you're just asking the verifiers you know, one simple thing, it's going to be a yes or a no or true or false. And then based on that, you're going to be able to gather enough information to, you know, uh, deduce the number. Now, having said that, I got to be perfectly honest, folks. The first time I played this, I was completely lost. I played a three player game and, you know, I looked at the verifiers. I, I don't know what this means. What What's going on here? You know, I was looking at this. Why, you know, when an X showed up for this, you know, why does it mean it's even or odd or no, you just got to, you know, Take your time and again, just use your power of logic and deduction. So in this case, I had a two here and this says it's going to verify if the number, the triangle number is even or odd. And here, as I saw, as we saw during the playthrough, it gave a check mark. So that means it's true. It's going to be even because I have an even number here. And likewise for the other verifiers, you know, you're going to go through uh, with those questions and find out what's true, what's what's false, and then eventually you're going to come up with a number. Um, I've done, I think the best I've done is like uh, four or five guesses. So in the playthrough, I did seven, a little hiccup there, but you know what, that's what makes it so fun. It's, it's only like a 15, 20 minute game. And when it's a multiplayer game, this is what I like about the multiplayer game too, uh, which you couldn't really get a sense of during the solo game. Um, I love the fact that it plays so quickly and it's simultaneous. So as you'll see here, as you see here, there are multiples of each number. So there could be more than one player guessing, uh, using these numbers to guess. And that's what we did, you know, during our multiplayer games. I played, you know, shout out to my buddies, uh, Oscar and Patrick, uh, for playing it. Um, you know, we just, you know, use these things, crunched them up, you know, and, um, you know, wrote down our info and then eventually one of us uh, got the answer after a couple of tries a couple of rounds so um one thing too i didn't uh, show during the playthrough but it's a player raid uh so you know as you're playing i you know i forgot to mention you're going to have this player in front of you so it's a shield so people can't see what you're guessing um and it also gives you everything you need to know um just like in the run through you make your proposal the, that's your number and then you question up to three verifiers and then you analyze your info and if if you think you're good to go, you give the thumbs up and you hopefully you check the uh, the answer book and hopefully you'll win. Uh, it does give you some breakdowns of, you know, how the verifiers work here. I felt like, I mean, if there's one thing I mean, for a new player, especially someone that's not the biggest deduction fan like myself, um, I feel like you need a game or two to really, you know, understand some of these verifiers. And I would suggest go, you know, in the rule book, start with the first puzzle and then work your way up because that first puzzle gives you a nice little foundation because after that first one i was like okay I, I don't really get it but then after the second and third um uh puzzles i did i was like okay now it's clicking i have to you know be sure to look at my numbers and be sure to line those up with which verifiers i'm using and so forth so yeah you know it it, it reminds me a lot of search for planet x where you're taking little bits of information and trying to extrapolate that into what you're trying to do. You know, in Search for Planet X, it was trying to find the location of Planet X. Here, it's just straightforward uh, numbers. Um, so it's sort of abstracted, but I, I do like the theme of using this proto computer, right? And so you don't need any uh, electricity to work this computer, friends. Uh, you can just use the little punch cards and figure out. It's it's honestly, it's magic to me. It's, it's genius that, you know, you can have 20 puzzles in the box, yet, all you have to do is go to the app and you got millions, seriously, millions of puzzles. And I don't know how any of this works. I mean, there are the verifiers. I'm going to show you that. So we use four verifiers. You can have up to six in a game. That's four, then five or six. Look at this stack of verifiers. Tons of verifiers. And each one has four different, <coughs> excuse me, numbers. So depending on, you know, which uh, puzzle you're going to do, they're going to tell you a different uh, card to track down. And then for verifiers themselves, I, we looked at four different ones. There are, let me see, there are 48 different verifiers. 
So we're looking like odds and evens and so forth and you know comparing numbers. Uh, we could say a specific color is even or odd. A specific color is less than four. Um, if the sequence of numbers is ascending, right, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, this one said it was uh, checking numbers of repeated. Gosh, there are a ton. Mm -hmm. This one straight up just asks you, uh, tells you how many number fours are in the code. Could there be one, zero, one, two, or three? You know, and then, oh, it's so, so cool. I, again, it's magic to me um, how they came up with the design. I mean, shout out to the team at Scorpion Mask for putting together such a cool deduction game. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of deduction, deduction games. This one stay on my shelf. It's a winner. So uh, there you go, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the run through. And thanks again. We'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.